elements of the all-Russian pro-Ukrainian Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion reportedly conducted another raid into Belgorod region on the 1st of June. Now, the Institute for the Study of War says the geolocated footage shows alleged Freedom of Russia Legion personnel operating near Novaya Tavolzhanka. This is three and a half kilometers from Russian-Ukrainian border and Shebekina. This is seven kilometers from the Russian-Ukrainian border. Raids, according to the U.S. Army doctrine, are small-scale assault operations involving swift entry into hostile territory to secure information, disrupt hostile forces or destroy installations. Raids end with a planned withdrawal from a narrowly defined target area and do not seek to establish long-term control over territory. Now, the Institute for the Study of War states the Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion have not seriously attempted to control territory in Belgorod region either on the 1st of June or during their 22nd of May raid, despite their avowed goal to capture Russian territory. And yet, according to the UK intelligence update, Russia's Ministry of Defense has resorted to deploying the full range of military firepower in its territory, including attack helicopters and the thermobaric rocket launcher. Russian commanders now face an acute dilemma of whether to strengthen defenses in Russia's border regions or reinforce their lines in occupied Ukraine. Belgorod region governor announced that the Russian officials in Belgorod region evacuated 200 children and plan to evacuate 600 more. Now, the Institute for the Study of War says the Kremlin is trying to use these limited raids to support ongoing information operations that seek to portray the war in Ukraine as existential and garner domestic support for a protracted war. Select Russian mill bloggers use the situation in Belgorod region to criticize the Russian leadership, while others argue that the limited raids are precursors for Ukrainian counteroffensive operation.